the start of the Doozy Canoe Marathon. The front runners are meant to be starting in 15 minutes. And as you can see, only two buggers rocked up to the start line. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the water quality is so severe. And yeah, this is, this is what we call the death of the doozy. And uh, yeah, we're going to show you why, why it's such a problem. Duct tape over the mouth. Yeah, strap in. Prevent any water going in. See you on the other side. Okay, here we go on the doozy. Uh, just out of town near the sewage works. Gav got nice and close up to the, the outflow. Um, yeah, you can let us know burning your eyes proper chemicals, chlorine pumping into there, sterilizing the water. Killing everything, no bugs, no indicator species, no frogs, no dragonflies, infrastructure, infrastructure being left to ruin. Um, yeah, he has our yeah. race day decorations from the Peter Maritzburg public. This is just everything you can imagine, plastic, paper, clothing. Yeah, and I know like this is where we need to take a close look at ourselves. You know, like we like to blame the government and say, oh, things aren't being done, which they're not. But we are also not coming to the party. We're throwing all these things away. We know that government's not working. Why are we using these services? Everything is being trashed in the dump. Um, yeah, you can see the air pollution, the dump, the landfill sites just burning, all the plastic we send there, whatever yeah. else is getting blown into the river. Once, you, once again, you can see the trees are acting like sieves just yeah. in south africa now if you throw something in a rubbish can or you flush something down the toilet this is where it's ending up it's ending up in our rivers um and it's becoming part of who we are we all connected mm. you know like here's a beef farm who eats beef who eats livestock they drink water from rivers they eat the plastic and it floats past yeah there. so we eating this sifness we it, if you coming right it's, back around it's together full circle and you can see here already the the river's cleaned up a lot it's incredible who eats bacon yeah. here's a pig farm you had bacon this morning yeah who had bacon for breakfast um yeah it's if we don't start looking after our resources and nature it's going to come back and bite us and you know like diseases like cancer these um very simple cures lifestyle it's just what we're ingesting the the life we're leading rushing around stressing ourselves creating pollution because we're never spending the time to consciously think where this rubbish is going, where all of our waste is actually being deposited. And look, we're a few k's out of Maritzburg and look how much the river's already cleaned up. Nature's incredible, but um, unfortunately we just pollute it too much and it, it, can't, it can't keep up with the demand. Yeah, it's time we align with her. She's the one who provides for us after all. Mother Nature just needs a little bit of help to keep, keep in check. Oh, once again, stunning little rapids, yeah. but everywhere we look, there's plastic, there's evidence of humans being around, or not even being around, just... Who eats sugar? Who had sugar for <laughs> breakfast? Who has a chocolate? <laughs> Who had an energy bar? Yeah. That, they're watering the crops from the doozy. Here we are on the, the second day, and you can see the river's cleaned up a lot. Amgeni has got far less um, people on it, so it's a far cleaner river. And yeah, here we're dropping into Willem Shoot, a lovely class four. Yay. Whoops. Little, nice little quick roll. Beautiful rapids. Now we're dropping into Mamba Gorge, um, another compulsory portage, class five, steep, continuous rapids. Um, yeah, non-stop, awesome. Busy, yeah. 100 Cumex, fullest doozy ever. Um, and we managed to take on Mamba Gorge, not successfully, but... Um, One of us at least, um, yeah, soon to see a little piece of footage, here. but the better of me. Yeah, beautiful steep drops, beautiful gorge, and you can see how clean the river, it's cleaned up substantially. Yeah. Oops, just landed the last drop a little bit wrong and paid the price, we managed to roll up my second attempt. Happy days. Practicing the fairy glide. Have come in handy. Here we go, Serge. Here's the scene of the crash. Um, us scouting the rapid, deciding it's not a good idea to run it just before I uh, missed my eddy. <laughs> Commenced down here, lost my boat, and got a bit deep. Yeah, thank God Gav was there to meet me at the bottom. Yeah, so I saw Serge committing to the slot line, and I went on the safer line because Serge missed his eddy. I didn't uh, re press record on my GoPro, it's not what I was thinking about. So to um, 
quickly rushed down river and managed to get there. Serge had managed to get himself out. There was a huge commotion with the choppers and a bit of a nightmare situation, but managed to get Serge across to um, to help on the other side. And then this is the final rapid of Mamba Gorge, a beautiful rapid where all the water comes together. Unfortunately, we were um, banned from paddling day three of the doozy. Uh, I think Serge and I d deserve an award. First sweeps ever to get fired. Um, but it was a blessing in disguise. We knew exactly what was going to happen to the river. It was going to get really, really filthy again as it went back into Durban with all the people, all the stiffness, everyone throwing things away. And it's time for us to start looking after Mother Nature because if we don't look after her, she's not going to look after us.